Guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana, and today I'm going to show off my dog, Lacey, a little miniature Labradoodle, um, and I'm going to show off a 2013 Land Cruiser. Um, we're going to go through this step-by-step uh, uh, -step on the whole video walk around, but what I do want to mention is that this car currently is for sale. Uh, in the video description, it says for sale, 2013 Land Cruiser, and I'll post the full description in the comments below. If you have, uh, if you've seen this video, a year from now, I will change the title of the video to Sold, so you don't have to inquire about it in the future, but I'll still post this as a, as a really nice walk around for reference point. So uh, without further ado, um, again, 2013 Land Cruiser. This vehicle um, uh, has about 91,400 miles on it. Um, it was bought uh, at Ed Martin Toyota. Um, this vehicle has about 29 service records on Carfax, uh, no accidents. It's in uh, pristine condition. Um, uh, we'll, we'll do a full video walk around and kind of talk about everything that, that's important. Um, uh, there's a lot to mention, so we'll kind of dig in. Um, well, for starters on it, um, the front bumper is a metal tech bumper. This bumper is about a thousand miles old, so there is no scratches or wear and tear on it. No UV fade or anything else. It's in great condition. There's a 30 inch light bar mounted in the, in the front bumper, and then there's a come up 12 and a half K winch. Um, also, um, there's a couple uh, two by two uh, fog lights uh, in, the, in the bumper as well. Um, the vehicle is uh, wrapped, it's uh, silver. Uh, if you look at the Carfax report or you look at the window sticker, it is a silver vehicle. The silver uh, paint is in perfect condition underneath of it. It does have an Avery wrap on it, so it's, an, it's uh, one of the best uh, material, one of the best brands out there, uh, easily replaceable. Uh, if, the, if the vehicle ever does get into a collision and needs to have body work done on it, this uh, is, a, is a film that's been out for many years. It's a flat white uh, with pearlescent to it. Um, uh, this wrap is probably about four or five months old, so it's still in perfect condition. There's no feeling, there's no damage in, in any way, shape, or form on the wrap itself. Uh, there is a couple facets to it. Um, obviously, it's flat white here, um, kind of like the Blizzard Pearl uh, 070 original color, uh, but there's lots of gloss black accents to it. So the front grille is gloss black, as well as the roof and also um, the mirror caps. Um, and there's other various block pieces, um, also the uh, lower door buildings too. So chrome has been fully deleted. Um, and then of course window belt holdings. Um, and I think it really kind of ties in with the block tinted windows and the tires and all that. So I'll let you decide, put comments in below if you have any, any questions on that. Um, without further ado, let's kind of talk about the about the build itself. So this has a uh, an Icon Stage Two suspension with up SPC upper control arms. Um, I think it's a good fit um, with the tire and wheel size. So these are the uh, the um, the Heritage Edition uh, 2020 2021 uh, BBS Heritage Edition Heritage Edition wheels. Excuse me, with the black PVD OEM lug nuts, red painted calipers, and then the OEM uh, Heritage uh, Toyota center cap. Um, this is a Cooper Discover LT275-70 18 tire. It's a 32 by 11. Uh, perfect size, in my opinion, for the two inch uh, um, lift that's on the vehicle currently. Um, they are, there's a 1.25 inch uh, Spider Trax wheel spacer in here as well, just to kind of tuck it and make it flat with the vehicle. Um, tire fitment, no rubbing, um, no wear and tear of any, ever touching the depth control arms or the KDSS brackets or anything like that. So overall, uh, I'd say this is a very, very well, well, well thought out setup, um, and I really, I really like it. It's my style. Um, underneath the vehicle, um, there is a uh, metal tech sliders. These are the kick out sliders. Um, there is traction tape on them, so yeah, it's a little bit safer to get in and out of it. I don't see any evidence that these have actually ever hit a rock, um, so there's no rust on them. Um, they're a little scuffed up from shoes, but they're not rusty by any means. I uh, did forget to mention in the front, there is an, an Iron Man front um, uh, uh, skid plate, <coughs> front skid plate right here, and also the ZR Tactical um, uh, aluminum uh, front recovery hooks that are soft shackle compatible that are uh, coated in the same uh, heritage bronze as the wheels. Uh, kind of keep moving on the side here, we have a, a Prince Sue roof rack. Um, this is the full, the full Prince roof rack, uh, full wind fairing, no light bar cutout, uh, noise reduction trim piece right here. Um, we have the rigid SLR spreader scenes. There are four of these. There's two on the left side, two on the right side. Um, they are mounted at an angle using a descent aluminum um, uh, angle bracket uh, that has been powder coated in black. Um, and then these are these lights are also connected uh, right back here with the Deutsch connector. So in the event that you ever need to replace a light, maybe it's got condensation or for whatever reason you want to remove the light, you can just pinch this little Deutsch connector right there and then unplug it. It's a waterproof connection 
and they are wired um, directly through um, the headliner uh, down through here inside the, the spoiler and then back through and we can talk about that in just a minute. Um, overall getting a better look of the vehicle, um, box strong Billy, um, again we have the gloss box up here, we have your satin block here on the Toyota Sombrero and the Toyota Land Cruiser emblem. Um, go ahead and uh, we'll pop, go ahead and pop this open real quick and talk about the inside. You can kind of see where the silver exterior is, um, where the wrap stops. You can only see that when the door is open. Of course, you have a tool kit and you have storage underneath here. Um, all Land Cruisers, all 20, 200 series at least, are going to have a 100 watt inverter uh, right here. And then also, um, third row has been deleted. Um, this vehicle does come with a third row, so in the event that you buy it, you will be getting the third row if you choose if you want it. No additional price. Um, it does have all the brackets for the third row, the, the in terms of hardware, screws, bolts, and all that. Um, uh, there's also um, the uh, a K on shelf back here, so if you wanted to just kind of keep, you know, recovery gear, cargo gear, you know, first aid kit, whatever you would want to keep in your in your in your car out of the way, you can. Um, it does have the original handles uh, that mounts in with the O-Craft handles that come with the vehicle. Of course, these are uh, going to go go along with the car in case the next owner doesn't want that. Um, does have all the hardware and clips mounting to put those back in. Um, the winch as it come up, um, it, the wireless controller is right here, um, or the wired controller is right here. Excuse me. Um, all 2018 and lower year. 200 series Land Cruisers come with a DVD player, so you have the factory remote control, you have two headphones, and then you have the original uh, cup holder. And the reason the original one's here is because we have an upgraded aftermarket 3D printed one that's in there now, which we'll show off in a minute. You have uh, two color hatch lights, red, off, and white. So um, this the red is fantastic for you know nights because it's easier on your eyes and doesn't really attract bugs so much. Um, and then you have um, also a, a custom carpet back here as well. So that, let's move into the middle row real quick. Um, oh, also a deep uh, Heritage Edition D-Series, uh, D-Pillar badge right there. Inside we have the Rydies, uh aftermarket um, leather kit. Um, this is uh, fantastic uh, quality up, um, leather. Um, major upgrade in my opinion. It is obviously it looks pretty slick being the kind of that brown, deep, deep brownish red uh, color. It's quilted. Um, the Back row, the middle row, excuse me, does have uh, seat heaters on uh, Land Cruisers. It's also a four-zone a four climate control. Um, we do have um, in the front, um, it is actually uh, quilted. It's the same seat cover, but it does have ventilation um, on the on the front seat. So you do have heated and ventilated on, on this particular uh, vehicle, 100% uh, OEM. Also, um, Red Arc Trailer Brake Controller is located right here right there um, and then um, you'll notice the 3d uh, printed cup holder uh, that's made by the 3D. Um, there's a couple different uh, ones that they sell this one is probably my favorite one because it's got three sizes you have a small you have a medium and you have a large size cup holder so this will fit like a 40 ounce hydro hydro flask or yeti you got some places for some flashlights or pens or whatever you want to keep that small cell phone and then another little random pocket that you can put whatever you want in Obviously, um, actually not obviously, but moving on to the head unit, you have um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This is through the EC off-road unit, so um, uh, so it's fully functional through the OEM um, uh, touchscreen. The USB port to plug in the wired CarPlay, which it's, um, is right here. I don't know if you can see that little USB port right there, but that's, that's where you'd plug into. Um, one thing I would like to point out about the interior of this vehicle is it is absolutely pristine. There is not a single scratch on anything. No leather, the leather is in perfect condition. The steering wheel is in perfect condition. Even the touchscreen head unit, all the, the piano black trim pieces. Um, it's just, it's just a really super clean vehicle. Um, there's nothing that's going to stop anyone. There's no smells or scents in this vehicle. It's just, it's just a plus. A um, couple aftermarket things. These are the ZR tactical, uh, aluminum molly panel, um, Molly panels so you can attach anything that you want here. Um, flashlights, knives, gun holder, anything that you want to keep in your car, this is a perfect place to do that. There is one on both sides, driver and passenger. Um, of course, you have a, um, uh, a home link uh, auto dimming mirror, uh, sunglasses holder. Um, these lights are LED, um, converted to LEDs, um, uh, just uh, to be noted. 
Um, and then, um, yeah, so just take, if you don't mind, Brandon, on take just a, a nice kind of once over on the, uh, just everything on the dashboard because the condition on it is, is, is top notch. This vehicle does have an aftermarket um, remote starter. Um, and, uh, uh, and I think it's a Viper brand, so it's a 2,000 foot range. Um, floor mats um, are weather tech. I'll move that out of your way so you can kind of take a look at that as well. Um, the rock lights in the light bar, uh, scene lights are controlled right over here. You have rock lights, light bar, scene lights left and right. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood if you don't mind, gonna pop that hood real quick. Under the hood, obviously, um, you got your 381 horsepower uh, V8 motor. We have um, uh, the uh, Air V Twin air compressor. This is mounted to a sleek um, stainless steel uh, air compressor tray. The switch is located right here. The air, the compressor switch. Just put your hand there. Hit that button. Right um, ZR Tactical uh, battery uh, battery mount tie down. Um, this is a uh, you can kind of. If you want to hover the camera just a little bit over there, you can kind of see that. You can get that on the uh, ZR, uh, ZR Tacticals website. Um, the upgraded battery mount points here. Again, this is the auxiliary battery. This is normally where your lead acid crank battery is going to be for your Group 31. This is what we did is we swapped this over. So your crank battery is the small Group 35, um, and then that gives you more capacity for any accessory that you want to trickle off of your AGM. Um, so the, the big boy AGM is located on this side. The crank battery is over here. They're connected with the Red Arc. Uh, DC DC. Um, this is the BC DC 1250D. Um, this is the, the smart battery isolator charger. This is going to also have solar functionality. So if you want to charge up the auxiliary battery with solar, you, it's already built in. You can do that. No, no upgrades required. Um, we also have uh, the headlights right here. Uh, just one color, just white and off. Um, and then I'll go ahead and shut the hood real quick here. Kind of pan the camera out, take a little bit better look at the, at the, at the vehicle from a different angle. Um, again, this vehicle, as of the moment right now, it is for sale. So, in the subject line, it's going to say for sale. If it's for sale, if we sell it by the time you watch this video, then I'll change the word for sale in the beginning of the description to the word sold. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me anytime. My name is Eric Sargent at Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. My phone number is 317 385 9572. Thanks for watching.